Well, take some calls now. Yes, this is Diddley Squat. Hello? Fuck you! Yes, this is Diddley Squat. Hello, Diddley Squat? Yes, sir. You look like fucking something. This is Diddley Squat. Yes, Diddley. Uh, Shakespeare also mentioned for you to suck my dick. Austin, you're on the air. Good morning. We're doing open phones. Hi, am I on the air? Yep. Fuck. Thanks. Good evening. Can I get a psychic energy reading, please? You have got to be more polite than that, my friend. Can I have a psychic energy reading, please, Adam? <laughs> he, oh, my goodness. At least he was clever, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Um, but this is the kind of indignity that some of these women had to deal with, and by their their the persistence and their determination, really uh, broke down some barriers and opened the way for other women who came later. Moving on to Baltimore, Democrat line. Hello. Hi, Cindy. Hello. Um, my question is, do you respect Howard Stern's penis? Getting a lot of crank calls today. Not sure why they're coming in. We'll try to crack down on them as okay. best we can. Uh, hi, you're on the air. Hi, yeah, how you doing? Fuck you! Goody. Good Friday, CB. Ah. Uh, I called last week and you gave me chlamydia. It burns so bad when I pee. Good evening. Let me, ladies and gentlemen, CB did not give no man no chlamydia. No. What would be uh, so wrong with maybe using uh, Steve Forbes' idea, like the uh, you know straight 17% tax for everybody? Flat tax? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's the way. Well, that's good, because then we don't have to take it up the bed on What do you want to pray about tonight? I was hoping you could pray for me. Uh, I'm having a hard time here. Okay. Um, I'm, a, I'm addicted to heroin. Okay. And I like sucking dick and fucking horses in the air. Hey. New York City, y'all got to get it together. You really do. I love you. But you got to get it together. Goody. I don't love you, nigga. You really? Honey, do you suck your daddy's dick with that filthy mouth? Do you? We're going to go to the phones. We have our first caller. Hello. Uh, yeah, my head more flared up real bad. Yeah, we know. All right. What was that? That's nice to know. Call Preparation H. Okay. Okay. Uh, first caller. Yes. Bob Malikum, brother. Do you like some? Yes, uh, I have been a Muslim for about three years now, and you were talking about the differences between your right hand and your left hand before. Right. Uh, I feel that has been something very important in my life because uh, I feel that's a pathway. Allah sent me the message because ever since I was a little boy, I would always say, for instance, with my right hand, I would eat my food, brush my teeth, and then with my left hand, I would jerk off and wipe my ass. Good evening, you're on Brainstorms. Hi, this is Big Jack. Yeah. Hi, I got this number off of a, a bathroom wall. I, it said to have a good... Good evening. Are you jerking off? Am I jerking off? There are children watching this show! Spokane, Washington, hello. Yes, good morning, sir. Good morning. My name is Ikpad Ban Natsak. I want to comment on... Uh, what do you think of Howard Stern's penis? Let's go right on to Vallejo, California. Good evening, you're on Brainstorms. Hi, uh, Jack, I, I have a question about uh, what you were talking about earlier. Now, isn't it true, now, now let me get this straight here, Jack. Uh, now, can you hear me okay? Yeah. Now, now, didn't you, weren't you the penguin in Batman Part 2? How are you? All right. What do you think, should we carry handguns yeah. or what? Definitely. Yeah. Okay. You know people like you. All right. Sounds good. Because uh, its repercussions are playing out in a negative fashion right now. Moving on to Baltimore to our American Muslims line. Welcome. I hope this doesn't bother you, but I've been imagining what you look like naked. <laughs> I think we're going to move on right to uh, Philadelphia. Hello, Philly. Uh -huh. Good evening. Hi, do you have uh, Battletoads? Do I have what? Battletoads. What the hell is this Battletoads? Uh, Somebody called here really cool. week four last, week four that. Y'all keep... I, what is I know. Is, is you the same one? Awesome. Are you the same one? Yes, I am. My me, and, me and a couple other people, we're asking for it. Well, why don't you go out there and get it then? 
Uh, well, I thought you may have battle tones. Why would I have I'm this? Sorry. Mess? Look here, my friend. I'm too old to be messing with that mess here. Yes. Uh huh. My friend. Uh, yes. Do you have a girlfriend? Yes, I do. Uh huh. You about the first one. And she has battle turds too. Does she? Yes. I hope y'all have a good time. I ain't gonna insult you. I'm not so gonna. Why do don't you have battle turds? What's that? Why don't you have battle turds? My friend, because I have a life. Oh, really? there it is. Talking about the practices of credit counseling centers with Travis Plunkett, we invite your phone calls of one of three lines. Our next call, Newark, New Jersey. Go ahead. Yeah, hi. I got myself into really bad debt. I was uh, paying one credit card off with another for over four years. Uh, I just went on and on. And, you know, I mean, I'm, like, really broke right now about to file bankruptcy. I, you know, I'm trying to get a penile implant. I need to enlarge my... Uh, package to pick up the chicks these days. Not Oxford, gonna... North Carolina is up next. Good morning. This is Deadly Squat. Shut the fuck up! Evening around brainstorms. Yeah, this is for the penguin. I just was wondering... Hi, you're on the air. Well, Ken, yes. I was wondering how you would think that it would be possible to regulate the sale of these guns. And want to know if you suck dick. Alright, well, in answer to your second question, no, and I'm not sure how we would regulate the sale. Good evening. Asshole. Thank you. Thank you. I bet yours is quite wide, isn't your it? Your mother. Uh-huh. Yours is all scratched out. Uh, well, I know our school system, I mean, they go to school 12 years, and after they get out, they still can't read or write. You're absolutely right. You know, another thing, would you like to touch my monkey? Spank, 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 spank. Oh, you used to be on Saturday Night Live? Yes, this is yeah. Peter from Sprocket. Right. All right, let's try this. Good morning. Morning. There we go. Yeah. How are you today? My, 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 my. Is that his opinion? Hello? Hello? Hi, is this the Reverend on the radio? Yes, it is. How you doing tonight? Oh, I'm not feeling too good, Reverend. My brother Gene had a stroke, and he's in the hospital, and he has two young daughters, and we don't know if he's going to speak again. He was in surgery, and he had a stroke. He was in penile implant surgery. He was trying to increase the length of his penis. He was trying to get a... Brother, you going to wish you hadn't called me tonight. Good evening. Fuck you. Oh, really? That's wonderful, honey. That takes a lot of courage to call him. Fuck you and hang up the phone. That's, that's a lot of courage there. Uh-huh. You're on the pro wrestling report. Yeah, um, I have a question about WrestleMania. Yes, sir. Did uh, Mike Tyson get punched in the cock? No, he didn't. Oh, okay, thanks. No problem. Here on the Pro Wrestling Report. I was watching and I thought he did get punched in the cop. Yes, this is Deadly Squat. <laughs> now, uh, I don't want you to put cock teasers on. Riverside, Illinois, good morning. Hi, good morning. Morning. Um, Mr. Murphy, I was just wondering if you feel that there's a resemblance. Caller, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, do you feel that there's a resemblance between your pubes and the hair on your head? So, hey, mommy. Mommy. Hey, you. Hey, you. Good evening. You're on Brainstorms. Yeah, I've got a question about the weapons of mass destruction. Sure. Do you think that weapons like freeze rays and stuff like that should be banned as well? Like what? Like freeze rays? I mean, you, you tried that in Gotham City, right? Oh, hell. So that the husband and wife cannot even be at home. <laughs> And uh, that's one example. Yes! Hi, Phoebe. How you doing? You got uh, battle codes? I'll tell you what I do got. I got this motherfucking pilgrim show. I'm putting your ass. You keep calling him. Do you understand? Yes, I uh, know. Ladies and gentlemen, this pilgrim shoe is going to go dead in the crack of his ass. He called here one more time. Y'all heard it. Yeah. This buckle, help, going to come out of his mouth. Pottstown, Pennsylvania, Republican. Hi, uh, my favorite is usnews.com, but also the one I forgot to mention is uh, womenwithhorses.com. That's also a good one. Um, Thanks for the call. We appreciate it. Um, keep taking your calls. Let's see. Try line number one. Josh's movie review. Who's this? Is, is this a new show? This is a new show. Yeah, today is the first episode. How am I doing? Brand new? Yeah, brand new, dude. You're watching oh, the first one. I gotta do this, brother. It's your first episode. Come in my mouth! No.
Oh, okay, uh, you be real careful that they don't even touch or go near the, the turtles themselves. Right. And when I cook the food, if I'm not careful, I can get the salmonella on the food and poison the family. Is that true? That's absolutely correct. Very good. My plan is working. <laughs> well, I'm glad, uh... Al, you didn't hear it from me. I don't want to disappoint the kids. Good morning, Carla. <laughs> it's him. It's my friend. My friend is back. Oh, yes. Got it. I'm starting off fresh, and I feel good. Uh-huh. I look good. I smell good. Uh-huh. I am good. I'm better than that. Uh-huh. I'm calm. And this next call is going to be wonderful. Uh-huh. I can just feel it. I'm calm. I'm calm. Good evening. Fucking genie. Kiss my ass. Can I tell you something? How long is it? Very short. Okay. Are you ready? Ready. One, two, three. Flowers and dead lions and vaginas. Flowers, rainbows, unicorns. Thank you, Corey. I like to play. Okay, Corey, thank you for calling in. We gotta give Raina her time, okay? Okay. Salut! Salut, Corey! You know, it's no reason that people have to get on the air and prove that they are the most sickest person in the world. Right? Yeah! Alright, thank you for calling. Yeah.